The Last Seduction is a neo-noir thriller directed by John Dahl that answers the question of how a modern-day femme fatale would look and act. The female in question is Manhattanite Bridget Gregory, played by Linda Fiorentino, who steals $700,000 worth of drug money from her husband Clay, played by Bill Pullman, and flees to the small town of Beston, New York. While laying low in the backwater town, Bridget hatches a scheme to swindle cheating husbands out of their cash, while wrapping local gentleman Mike Swale, played by Peter Berg, around her finger. You have your own place? Yes. Do you have indoor plumbing? Yes, I have indoor plumbing, I have electricity, and I have a name. No names. Alex, Neo Noir is a banner that many films carry, but not many films carry very well. Uh, a lot of, quote, Neo Noir films are just kind of poor imitators with a, a few superficial, you know, surface level archetypes that come from noir films, but none of them really match the atmosphere and the intensity of those early 1940s and 1950s films. The Last Seduction is not one of those films. Uh, the Last Seduction is a film that is a perfect spiritual successor to the noir films of the 1940s and the 1950s in just every single element. That's great, but how does The Last Seduction achieve maximum noirness? The Last Seduction has a, a lot of trademark characteristics of, uh, of a lot of noir films. Uh, first and foremost, the character is launched into ensuing events due to some shady or morally questionable act. Um, there's a lot of deception, a lot of questionable motivations in which a lot of innocent people end up suffering. And like a great uh, noir film, Double Indemnity, there's an insurance scam involved. And of course, as I mentioned, a femme fatale. But what makes The Last Seduction really great and worth mentioning on the show is that the femme fatale, uh, Bridget, played by Linda Fiorentino, is not a supporting character, but the entire film is hers. The entire story is told through her point of view. I'll do it. I'll kill the bastard. You have to this right. If you find her, I'll be glad to separate her from the cat. And, you know, who better than Linda Fiorentino? She's such a dynamo in that role. Uh, I worship at the altar of Linda Fiorentino in this film. She's just so amazing. She's strong-willed, she's confident, she's very manipulative, and also uh, incredibly sexy. She manipulates every person around her, every situation around her, and Linda Fiorentino's uh, performance is incredibly powerful. She just commands every single scene that she's in. Bridget may be kind of a despicable character in some ways, but she's also very admirable, very strong-willed, like he said, and I think that uh, females can really get behind her because she just kicks a lot of ass and doesn't take shit from anybody.